YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So uh, this video, I'm gonna be doing the double half hitch. And I've already done a video where I showed you how to do it, but it was combined with a whole lot more um, knots. And so I thought about just doing them individually. So that way people who are just like browsing the internet, like looking for how to do it, can find just a really quick video on how to do that specific knot, rather than having to watch through one entire video. So I'm just gonna do, do them all kind of over again. So for this video, it is gonna be the double half hitch. I've had a lot of requests to kind of like slow down in my tutorials on like in my pieces, like how to do that knot, or a lot of like direct messages and so like that. And I'm sorry I haven't replied. I just honestly don't even check that stuff. And when I did, it was like five months late. So <laughs> much the issue with this knot is it is, it, it's difficult and um, it took me a long time to learn it myself and even when I'm teaching people how to do it, like I taught my mom and my sister how to do it when we were doing a piece together and they kept flipping it somehow and it kept actually tying a knot and so we had to like undo it and you know you have to undo it because it would actually get stuck and you couldn't pull, you couldn't do anything with it. I thought I would take time in this video to show you exactly how to do it on the left side, on the right side, how to connect the pieces. That way you can get it all in one video and you shouldn't have any other questions about it if you can make it through the whole thing. All right, so as you can see, we've got quite the few ropes here. So what I'm gonna do, this is the left side of the piece. I'll zoom you out just so you can see what I'm talking about real quick. This is the left side of the piece. And so essentially, um, you're gonna have one traveling rope. So this one right here, I'm gonna use for my traveling rope. So throughout the entire process of doing this double half hitch, go in this direction, whatever, what kind of design I'm doing, this is gonna be the rope that I'm attaching all the other ropes to. So if you can see, like when I hold it like this, all of the other ropes are behind it. So you've got them in order at the top right here. So this is the one directly next to it, the one next to it, and the one next to it, and so on and so forth. And that is how you're gonna use those ropes to attach it. You're gonna go in order, just like that, and it's gonna make, it's gonna make, it is gonna make for a pretty good looking rope. So this rope is gonna be going at a right angle. So there's also ones where, you know, you're gonna do the same exact knot, but you're gonna take it and go this way with it. And it just feels a little bit different to tie it that way. So for left-handed, right-handed people, one way might feel more comfortable for you than the other way, but sometimes you just gotta do it. You gotta do them, them this way diagonals and then this way diagonals. So you gotta learn how, you gotta learn how. Um, once you do complete it, it will look something like this right here. And so I think I'm gonna go ahead and go underneath this just to make it a little bit easier on me. Um, as far as starting the pattern. So, to do this, what you're gonna do, you're gonna get that traveling rope like I stated before, so I'm gonna use this one for my traveling rope. And what you're gonna do, I'm gonna zoom you in. All right, now remember, this one is going towards the right. So, you're gonna take the rope directly underneath it, and you can see already how it's kind of created a loop right here and right here in between the two knots. So what I like to do is I, when I'm holding it, I kind of like to pinch it right there where they intersect and then I take the rope underneath, not the traveling rope, the one underneath it, and you just push it through that little hole that you created. Just like that and pull it through. And then you can see you essentially just made a loop over that rope. And then you pull it tight to the top. I call that a little Cheerio because it looks like a little Cheerio. And now what you do is since now you're left with this right here. This right here is your traveling rope. This right here is your working rope. You can see that you are no longer directly underneath this rope, but that's okay. What you're gonna do is, again, I like to take it and you're gonna fold it up and create another loop. This time it's gonna be underneath rather than on top, so it's gonna look like this. And so you can see this is just, this has just been directly from that very first initial pull through, that's how you're left with this rope right here. And then you've got the traveling rope. And I pull it up and I pinch my thumb on it. So it's gonna create another loop. You're gonna fold it over the traveling rope and push it through that loop that you created. And then once you pull it together, you should have two little Cheerios and then the rope in between. And that is how you do this knot. And you just really just do it over and over again. I'm gonna take the next one in line, which is gonna be this one right here, and I'm gonna fold it over. And with this, you know, you can kind of get to where you don't have to pull it this way and pull it through this loop. You're gonna see as you go how you get comfortable with it. So for me personally, I kind of do the whole fold, pinch, go through, and that's number one. And then I do it again fold, 
pinch and go through. And that's literally all you do. It's so simple, but it just, it, it can, it can be crazy. So then we're going to do that again. This is the traveling rope, one next to it. I'm just going to fold it up, pinch it over and through. Fold up, pinch it over and through like that and you're gonna make it top and you that that's it that's literally all that you do and that's how you can make an entire row so I'm just gonna do it real quick and speed it up so you can see kind of all together okay so you can see how I did just complete that and I just went all the way down and it made that really pretty row um, of rope. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you how to do it coming from this direction. So it's going to be the same process. It's just going to be like, a, you know, you're going to have to hold it different. So here we go. I'm going to start with this rope right here, the very end, and it's going to be our traveling rope. And instead of going this way with it, we're going to come this way with it. So same thing. We're going to take the rope directly underneath it. All right. You're going to pinch it and there's going to be that little hole right there. You're just going to flip it, pull through, pull to the top. See the rope is going to be going in a different direction. The rope's going to go in a different direction. So then you're going to pull it up, pinch it, fold it over through the loop. Just like that right there. I'm going to zoom you in. All right. So now we're going to go, we're going to go ahead and show you once more. Um, we're going to take the rope directly beside it just like this and pinch it. You're going to fold that over. I'm going to try to do it so my hand can be seen. Fold that over. Oopsie and just pull that through the loop, just like that. Once more, pull it up, pinch it, fold it over through that loop, pull it tight. You can see your Cheerio, your string, your Cheerio, and then a Cheerio, a string, and a Cheerio. That's how you know that you are doing it right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you again. Pinch it, fold it over and through that loop, Pinch it, fold it over, and through the loop. And that is seriously it. So I'm going to go ahead and just fast forward through um, this row. And you should, I mean, you should have it down by now. Just do a couple practice runs. Just because I do pretty much do this in every single one of my pieces, I do end up doing ropes like this and then connect them. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. Um, so we've came from this way and then we've came from this way and now you're left in the center with two ropes and what do you do? What do you do? All right. So pretty much you're going to do the same exact thing. Um, you can either go this way with it or you can go this way with it, whichever way you want. I typically go this way just because it's more comfortable for me. Um, so you're going to make one, the traveling rope, which I'm going to make this one, the traveling rope. And then the one underneath it is just going to be the typical rope that you're going to fold it over with. So I'm going to take it, fold it over, pull it tight, and do it once more, just how we've been doing the others, and pull it tight. And now you have created the little point. I hope I explained that well enough. I mean, it's a really simple knot. Um, it just takes some practice. So, you know, as you get going with it, you'll figure it out pretty easy and you can literally any kind of piece you can just kind of do anything with it like the little leaves that people make um you can make any design with it i've seen literally anything i've done initials in my pieces like this is the knot to learn if you're really wanting to get into macrame and make unique pieces like this is cool you need to know how to do it. So that is the end of my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I, um, I hope I explained it well enough for you and I hope that you learned it. And if you did, give me a big old like and subscribe and hope y'all have a great day and God bless.